Hi, my name is Zai, longtime gamer and amateur music producer. This will be my first headset review, being the Logitech G633 Artemis Spectrum. It has RGB lights, 7.1 surround sound, unidirectional microphone, volume control well, and some extra buttons. It comes with two cables, one USB for PC, the other 3.5mm jack, so you can use these with your mobile phone. The extra features are only available for USB though. Apparently they work with PS4 and Xbox as well, but I don't know what features you get as I don't have one to test. When it comes to choosing a set, you can use any headphones and play fairly well. You can even make decent enough music and enjoy movies. So when looking at a new headset to buy, the first thing you should do is decide what you want to use them for and at what budget range. If you're a music producer and someone who wants music as it was intended, you want the cleanest sound possible. If you're a casual user wanting some extra entertainment, you want headphones that have focus on experience rather than accuracy. And of course, if you're gaming and talking to people, you need a microphone too. When talking quality of the sound, it's difficult to explain, but a studio set of headphones will make it sound like the instruments are right there in a small room with you. This headset is similar to that, but imagine you're in an even bigger room. So the sound isn't as tight, and I'd say they're geared more toward entertainment than studio use. I actually really like just leaving these in 7.1 surround mode for music, games, and movies. They sound great, if that's what you like. Decent bass response, although nothing on the well side, just a pleasant level. Highs are easily distinguished along with the mid-range. I managed to mix my songs fairly well, with only minor changes needed once using a studio set. According to the box, the frequency response is 20Hz to 20kHz, and the impedance is 32 ohms. The max volume is so loud that I couldn't actually turn it up that far. It hurts my ears. In short, made for entertainment, and they definitely entertain, but their accuracy is quite good for a headset too. I tried to do some tests in Quake, and I could hear footsteps well enough, but I need to use more headsets before really commenting on this kind of thing. And the mic quality is decent, but a bit tinny, focusing more on the high range, as I can hear very few lows. There does seem to be some filtering though. Here's a look at the waveform recorded from my condenser microphone. See all that noise? Well, here's a look at the Logitech headset recording in the same conditions. Looks a lot cleaner, right? Also of note, when you record the mic, it sounds like it has some filtering happening. I know this because I use noise reduction on my recordings, and if I overdo it, I get the same effect. It seems to limit peaks too, so that's even more filtering. For quality recordings, obviously you want as raw as possible, but for talking to friends during games, these are some great features. They won't hear absolutely everything going on around you, and even if you shout, they shouldn't go deaf. The problem, as usual, is that with the mic being so close to your mouth, there will be some breathing and other sounds. Physically, you can mute it with a button on the back, or just fold it back into its hiding place, keeping it completely out of the way when not in use. When you are using it, you can also extend the mic. Overall, for a headset mic, it's a good performance, with some nice filters, and it's not overdoing it either, so your friends should be able to hear you clearly in-game. Next, are you going to be using these at night, and would you be disturbing people sleeping or doing something else? For this, we test bleed. That's how much sound they let out while you're wearing them. This is what they sound like when I'm holding them in front of the microphone, And this is what they sound like when I have them on, again in front of the microphone. Considering how loud I had them, that's an outstanding level of bleed control. They were pretty much as loud as I'd ever want, and still barely made a sound while I had them on. And lastly on this topic, if you have music playing or games going, you can barely hear the outside world as well. So tell your family and friends to send you text messages to get your attention. How they look isn't too important, but if you have your desk set up, you want the headset to match. And these would have to be the coolest looking that I've ever owned. With RGB lights on the back, you'll always be able to find them in the dark, and it's mostly matte plastic, which means it won't show fingerprints, except on the headband, which is glossy. There is some metal framing for extra strength inside the band, and the ear cups are fabric designed for breathing. I can't speak for everyone, but personally, my ears didn't overheat or become irritated at all, and they can be removed if you want to wash them. The jack cable is smooth and braided, but the USB cable is fairly tight rubber. It's a bit awkward, but it is very long. I couldn't get an exact measurement, but I think it's about 3 meters, and they weigh about 350 grams. Comfort wise, while the ear cups are comfortable, after an hour, they did make my head hurt a bit, so I don't think I could use these too long just yet. They might weaken over time, but the clamping force from the band does get a bit much. Strangely, despite the extra clamp, 
If you tilt your head down, they will fall off. They don't have much staying power. I guess because of the weight from the extra features. The headband extends an extra 4.5cm, which gives you 8.5cm from the top of the ear cup to the bottom of the headband center, and it's only about 5.5cm without them extended. The ear cups are 7.5cm inside and 10cm total. The ear cups rotate about 90 degrees, so you can rest them on your shoulders if you want to. And with glasses on, they felt no different, so I guess the material is soft enough to allow the frames in. Overall, pretty good comfort wise. I just hope the band weakens over time. In the software, the buttons can be reassigned to cycle the color effect, or turn surround sound on or off. Or you can set your own, with the options of audio commands, ventrilo, media, keystroke, multi-key, text block, mouse function, hotkeys, shortcut, or function. For lighting, you can synchronize your other Logitech devices. I have this synced with the G900 mouse. Or you could set it to breathing mode, color cycle, or solid color. And you can set the brightness and speed. Next is the volume control including the microphone and side tone. Side tone is listening to your microphone so you can hear yourself speaking. So if you're hearing something when you're not playing anything, it's probably the side tone turned up. They also give you an advanced equalizer. And lastly, the surround sound mixer. I tested this by turning the front left down completely and I lost most of the sound in the left ear. And when I turned the others down, nothing changed. At first I thought it was Winamp and Windows Media Player not being able to handle it because in the Windows configuration test, it works but Winamp is meant to support it, no other program seems to. So this may be a case of fake 7.1, but I'm not entirely sure. This is still very new to me. Either way, it sounds good in that mode. And that's a lot of options for a headset, so Logitech are keeping up with good software, as usual. As for extra features, let's have a look at these buttons on the back. They're angled, but it's going to be difficult to quickly distinguish which is which. But slowly, you can just either go from the top where there's a switch, so that gives you a reference point for the two below it. And for the other two, you do the same, but with the volume wheel as a reference point. The cost of these will vary depending on country, but for what you get, these seem like a good deal so far. And if you want to pay the extra, you can also get the wireless set, which I hope to compare someday. In conclusion, I've really enjoyed using these. Definitely the best headset I've ever tried over the years, but we'll see what I get in the future. I'd be happy to use these for gaming, light music production, watching movies, and listening to music, and even talking to friends in games. But I wouldn't do any final mastering on my tracks. So obviously, don't get these if you're a serious producer, but for entertainment, they're great. Definitely check them out. Hope you enjoyed my first headset review. There will be several more almost immediately after this one, so check the channel for those. Subscribe for more reviews and gaming videos. Special thanks to Logitech and M-Wave for sending this out for a review. And if you want to purchase a set, I'll leave links to M-Wave in Australia and Amazon.com. As always, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.